Hello students, welcome to my channel Deep Learning Biology. Today we are going to learn some easy tricks to how to easily calculate and remember phenotypic and genotypic ratio for monohybrid cross, dihybrid cross and trihybrid cross. Yes, you must be remembering for monohybrid cross the phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 and genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. So it is quite easy to remember but some students they do remember for dihybrid cross the phenotypic ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Genotypic ratio for dihybrid cross is 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. Yes, many of you must not be knowing what is the phenotypic and genotypic ratio for the trihybrid cross. So here we will learn how you can easily calculate the phenotypic and genotypic ratio for dihybrid and trihybrid cross just remembering the results of monohybrid cross. Now let's come to dihybrid cross. Now try to understand this. A dihybrid cross is actually consists of two monohybrid cross. Now you know well let's first calculate the phenotypic ratio. Now let's in case of monohybrid uh, dihybrid cross as I have told you it consists of two monohybrid cross. So you have to remember two monohybrid cross the phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1. So if you multiply 3 is to 1 with 3 is to 1 you are going to get the phenotypic ratio that is 3 3 is a 9 then 3 1 is a 3 then again with 1 3 is a 3 1 is to 1 1. So this is phenotypic ratio for dihybrid cross. Same way if you are going to have a trihybrid cross the ratio will be you can easily calculate 3 is to 1, 3 is to 1 and 3 is to 1. You multiply all these ratio. So first you have to solve this and you here uh, shown that it is going to be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 then again multiplied with 3 is to 1 then you multiply each one with 3 first then with 1 it will come out 3 9 is a 27 9 9 3 then you have to multiply it with 1 it will come out 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 so hopefully you can easily remember and calculate the phenotypic ratio for dihybrid and trihybrid cross. Now we will come to the genotypic ratio. Now genotypic ratio in case of monohybrid cross is 1 is to 2 is to 1. Now if you want to calculate it for dihybrid cross you can easily calculate you have to what you have to do 1 is to 2 is to 1 multiplied with 1 is to 2 is to 1 so first you multiplied each this ratio with 1 then with 2 then with 1 and you solve it it will come out 1 is to 2 is to 1 then you have to multiply it with 2 that is 2 is to 4 is to 2 then you multiply each this one with 1 1 is to 2 is to 1. So this is genotypic ratio for dihybrid cross. Now same if you are going to solve for trihybrid cross what will be this? It's easy 1 is to 2 is to 1 multiplied with 1 is to 2 is to 1 multiplied with 1 is to 2 is to 1. Now we have recently solved this so multiply these two first it will come out 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 
is to 2 is to 1 multiplied with 1 is to 2 is to 1. Now let's solve this. So what will come? First you have to multiply this all with 1 then with 2 then it to 1. So if you solve this what will come? 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 then multiply it with 2 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 4 is to 8 is to 4 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 and then you have to write as it is because you have to multiply it with 1 so it will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 I am writing this is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 so here now I have taught you how you can easily calculate phenotypic and genotypic ratio of dihybrid and trihybrid cross just remembering the ratio for monohybrid cross hopefully it is very much easy for you so please do subscribe my channel deep learning biology have a nice time Thank you.